Hi, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. I'm coming to you from Hanoi, Vietnam. It was five years ago that the government of Vietnam invited our synod to build a theological education center to train the pastors of the Hmong Fellowship Church. And today, that dream has become a reality. We've just dedicated this new building. So very soon, another group of more than 50 Hmong pastors will begin their training at this school. And there they'll be educated in the truths of scripture. They'll learn to distinguish well between law and gospel. And most of all, they'll be able to go back to their people to proclaim God's saving message of grace in Jesus. Sung Shung is a pastor in the Hmong Fellowship Church, an independent Christian church body in Vietnam made up of over 350 churches and serving nearly 150,000 members. The teaching I heard before was just teaching the law, how to behave, how to live life. I saw Jesus Christ, but not in a clear picture. Before, this church body was burdened by rules and regulations. They did not know about the gift of grace in Jesus Christ. But after leaders of the Hmong Fellowship Church found and reached out to Wells for theological training, everything changed. At Wells training, I understand that Jesus Christ is the heartbeat of the gospel. I understand salvation is given to me freely. Pastor Shung is part of the first graduating class of 55 students from Wells Seminary Level Training Program for the Hmong Fellowship Church. And that program now has a home of its own after the completion of Wells' new Theological Education Center in the capital city of Hanoi. Let these doors be open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This new residential theological education center will provide training from Wells professors and missionaries to pastors in the Hmong Fellowship Church. The student will be here and we will use the curriculum uh, very similar to the Pastoral Study Institute uh, program through the Wisconsin Lutheran uh, Seminary. However, we will adapt that and simplify that into a version, a uh, simpler version so that we can uh, pass that to the students who are not uh, well educated in Southeast Asia, especially in Vietnam. One important aspect of this theological training center is that the education provided here will not be limited to the pastors who study here. The pastors trained in this school will go back to their home congregations and teach these same biblical truths to other pastors in their church body. So, the impact of the training they receive here will be multiplied to hundreds of other pastors. So a handful was trained here, and then they went and trained hundreds of other pastors and elders so that they could train the, the churches where, where they are at, some in very remote locations that would be impossible, if not illegal, for our American Wells pastors to visit. The Hmong students have a, a love of learning God's Word. The leaders, certainly we've seen that, uh, but with the rural training we saw it in the members too, that they love to learn God's Word, and they, so they turned out for these programs and encouraged it and continued to participate in it. And because of the gospel training that is planned to happen inside this building, more and more people in this part of the world will be able to hear about the grace given freely through Jesus Christ. A little bit of tears of joy. You know, this has been a long, it's been a long walk uh, with the Hmong Fellowship Church uh, and getting this facility up and just hearing those voices unite. You know what they were saying. They were thanking their Lord uh, for the ability to, to have this facility to do the training. Training in the pure law and gospel of God's grace that they can now take back to their villages and share with the nearly 150,000 souls of the Hmong Fellowship Church. I want to thank you for bringing the program to us. It's a gift to us. Since I came to Wells training, it's like something good and strong foundation with deep roots. 
I want to share this same learning with other people. I think you'd agree that the opportunity that God has given us in Vietnam is just an amazing opportunity that comes only from His grace. So we'd certainly like to thank Him for opening the doors to the gospel here in Vietnam. I'd also like to thank you for your generous gifts of support that have made this work, this building possible. And we pray for the Hmong Fellowship Church that as they proclaim the good news of Jesus, that he continues to bless that church with rapid growth as he builds his kingdom one soul at a time.